So I've prepped the tip by buffing it and base coating it and then now we're putting cream cakes over the top. I love this colour. So it's a blue but it's also got like a pink pearlescent like shimmer in it. It's so nice. And for this design, because it's an Easter bunny, Eastern design, I feel like we need mini eggs. We should be eating mini eggs. Oh, I had some mini eggs last night on the way down here. Oh. Just a little packet, though, because why don't they make diet chocolate? Uh, but, 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 do they might do. I think that's. I bet diet chocolate tastes disgusting. Yeah, like diet, no, but like it diet coke. so much better. Yeah. So we're going to put a couple of coats of this colour on, make it nice and opaque. Um, and I love bunnies. I love, I mean, I love Easter because I love chocolate. <laughs> uh, so we're going to cure that. And then I'm going in with Sandra. I love this colour against the blue. I'm using the brush that I'm using. If I remember rightly, I think it is the Cassidy Detailer. I think. So I'm going to do like a pear shape. For the, for the body it's a simple bunny design it's not too difficult but if you watch how i do it break it down the same so you've got that like pear shape for the body and we're going to fill that in with the color sandra so it's going to be a yellow bunny i know you don't see yellow bunnies but you know it's this bunny's yellow <laughs> <laughs> isn't that a thing when you say something's gone pear shaped Yes. It's just gone bad, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully this doesn't go bad. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to basically draw out the shape of the bunny. This is the head. And you'll So if you break it down, just like I have done, to so do the pear shape first, and then we can start doing the head. And what I'm doing at the minute is, what for this image, what I did was, and this is a really good idea, especially if you're uh, stuck for ideas, go on to Google, Google your sort of theme. So I put Easter bunnies, but I put Easter bunny illustrations. So I didn't like do, didn't Google Easter bunny nails or anything like that. Google an art form and you'll come up with different ideas and then you can put your twist on it and it'll get the creative juices in the brain going. The cogs will start to tick. So I've done his ears and he's already starting to look like a bunny. <laughs> so once you've done that, we're gonna cure and then I've got white out. Now with white out, you'll notice I've added a little foot as well. We did a little foot there. Um, white out's going to create the highlights. Um, we'll put them on the ears and we'll go around um, different parts of the body just to enhance. So, you know, I was looking at an illustration, so it's a similar kind of look. So it's not, it's this isn't like some realism kind of design. It's all quite simple, but the highlights make all the difference. What do you when you're looking at highlights and shadows? Do you have a preferred area for where your lights come in? Preferred direction from where your lights come in? It depends. So this figure is facing to the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So your lights coming from the right. Lights coming from the right. Okay. Yeah. Do you like visualize a light there? I don't know. I I think it's a good idea to do that though. I think because. I've done, I've done it for so long. I just get used to it. Yeah, you just. I don't know. Yeah, it's just automatic. To yeah, you. yeah. So yeah, so imagine he's facing. Imagine what whatever it is that you're painting is facing to the light. That'll help you. So I'm doing a little Easter egg. This is not his tail. That would be a big tail. <laughs> so no, it's an actual Easter egg. And then we're gonna take Paddy and we're gonna do some more Easter eggs. Obviously, the design for this was inspired by Easter. And I hope you all have an amazing Easter. I hope you eat loads of chocolate. I used to like going to Thornton's, which is a chocolate place um, that does really nice Easter eggs. And you can have them personalised and all that. I used to love going there and getting the kids personalised Easter eggs. Whereas now, they just want money. <laughs> you know, just put like money in the Easter eggs and then still hide them. 
and make them go run around. Yeah. Um, before COVID, obviously the kids were a bit younger then. We used to always go to my brother's house. So my brother lives in um, Great Malvern and we used to go to church and for for Easter and we'd they'd have like a little craft thing in the morning as well. So we'd have breakfast there, we'd have Easter breakfast at church and we would also do craft. So we'd make like loads of crazy eggs. We did an egg roll thing where you... Mm. You make your egg and then you roll it down the bank and we see who wins. The kids used to absolutely love it. And I know about most of you are going, Kirsty went to church, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went to church. You mean you didn't burst into flames as you walked through the door? I didn't actually, no. But I'll tell you what, the breakfast was banging. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, it was all for free. Really? Free breakfast. Wow. Obviously, the church always likes a little tip at the end, don't yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. When the jar, when the, well, the, the bowl comes round. They're like, oh, we like money that falls rather than jingles. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm taking the, um, the colour void, which is our black, and look how fine you can get that colour. And you still have loads of pigment. So this is just a gel polish. It's not a gel paint, but it's still... You know, very easy to paint with because it's so pigmented. So we're going to go round the edge and frame our character. And then going back to our Easter celebrations, then then COVID happened, and obviously we couldn't go and do our Easter little trips. And then, do you know what happened? The church shut down. A church shut down. Yeah. I don't know why, but the church shut down, and that was it. That was our Easter thing gone. I've got to say, every now and again, there's like churches do pop up on like Right Move and stuff like that. And, oh, and they've been and they've been done out, and yeah. it's like, oh my god, they're gorgeous. They do look amazing, don't they? But at they? the same time, I'd be a little bit like, I always feel like in a church somebody's died here. It's full of ha it's haunted, or it's got ghosts, but or something like that. Nobody's actually died there, though. Aren't I, well, they? I don't. They well, see well, that, Thing is, though, I live in the northeast of England, where right. loads of Vikings invaded, yeah, and well, did kill everybody that were in churches. <laughs> really? God, yeah, back in like the the, the, the hundreds of whatever that was, it was probably a long time ago, about twelve hundred years ago, when the Vikings were invading in the sort of uh, Holy Island, for instance, mm -hmm. they slaughtered all the monks and really, yeah, yeah. Oh it was my like... God, I don't think I like these Vikings very yeah. much. The, the, the northeast's very much. Is quite Scandinavian in its for value. Well, <laughs> but, but no, they've they've got like accents are quite similar. Um, weirdly, how get lost? Your accent is not like a Scandinavian. No, but there is this no, massive, there's no. massive similarities. There really is, um, and it's all due to being invaded multiple times. Oh by my Vikings. god. <laughs> He does tell some bloody stories. Right, so we're going to edge the um, the eggs now as well. Um, so give them a little, little frame. You know, just have done like a little love heart above the, um, the bunny rabbit because I love bunnies. My hairdresser um, has lots of bunnies. Rhea does. She has got um, double mane bunnies. They are so beautiful, and she's also got a giant bunny as well. So, top coat to seal in. And because the nail is quite a long nail, I'm starting at the bottom. And then when I pull through with my top coat, I'm, I don't run out of product. That way you get a smooth application. I wish you could see me now because I'm actually talking with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> the smooth application is being demonstrated by the hands. Whenever you see me doing something like that with the brush, it's probably because there's a bit of fluff there. And yeah. There I am, getting that bit of fluff off. Why do I just think the world should not have fuzzies? There should be like some kind of filter constantly going. 
Then we're going to use Bali. Now, Bali is absolutely gorgeous. Bali is a top coat, but this is the matte version. So this is a matte top coat, and it's got those little speckles in. So they're just like mini eggs. <laughs> we definitely need mini eggs. And you're just going to put them on the eggs, because mini eggs are matte. They're not glossy, are they? Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah they're, they're matte. So I thought, we'll put Bala on the top, and it'll just give that gorgeous finish. Now, Bala does come in matte and glossy. So it's, you know, very versatile. My mini eggs don't really last that long. To actually uh, see whether they're matte or gloss, really. Because they get crushed Just hands straight, straight in the bag and then straight in the mouth. I don't really look at them. And then what I wanted to do was some other nails that kind of complemented the design. We're really easy, so we just use the colours that we actually use for the design and put Bala over the top. And you get that gorgeous um, mini egg design. So there you are, guys. Thanks for watching um, and enjoying our snow day videos. This is what happens when it snows. We still work. Um, lots of other people that um, have snow days actually stay at home and don't work. But no, we find a way to bring you content. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Everything that I've used will be listed below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ta-ra, duck! <laughs>